Hey guys, my name is Vikram Parolkar. I'm a senior sales engineer at UiPath. I want to welcome you back to HIMSS. Uh, this year, HIMSS 2021, and we're kicking it off live. Throughout the week, I'm going to be talking to various customers, and I wanted to give you a sneak peek into what exactly I'm going to be showing them. And so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the app that I've created today. So what you see on the screen here is UiPath Apps. What this does is it allows you to have a single pane of glass and it doesn't really matter the persona that you're interacting with. So here, I'm in the pre-sales persona. I created this in a matter of days and the idea behind this is now, regardless of what customer I'm talking to, I can easily navigate to whatever conversation we have. If they're a provider and they wanna talk about what are the processes available? I can quickly open this heat map and have a good conversation. If they're talking about payment integrity, I can do the same thing and do deep dives and maybe healthcare analytics and they wanna talk specifically about those use cases, I can do that as well. But let's take a step back and transition to a different persona, one in the healthcare field. So my wife is actually a nurse and I pick her up every day from work and the only time she's late is when she tells me, I had to spend the last 30 minutes charting. Charting is not a patient encounter. It is a very manual, repetitive, administrative task. And with UiPath, our goal is to take that administrative task and reduce the amount of time you have to spend on it such that you can spend more time on the patient care. And so let's take a medical receptionist, for example. Their typical day in life is they're gonna be checking in patients, they're verifying information, demographics, they're working with a lot of different portals. You can see all of the different potential applications that a medical receptionist might work with. And the typical challenges they have is that they have to prepare all of this data from multiple sources and make it available for the physicians. Chart preparation, schedule management, collecting copays, all very administrative work that they have to do. And so what happens if we could take all of this and present, again, that single pane of glass to create a customized front desk experience for them? And so this is what a medical receptionist might do. You'll notice here that they'll have a single pane, but with the work of a digital assistant, and this is an example of what the UiPath digital assistant might look like, they can easily run any number of different automations to bring value into this single pane of glass. And so if they wanna do patient check-in, for example, they can easily collect all that information, name, MRN, insurance information from an EMR system like Epic. The next step they might need to do, run a different automation where they can verify the name and insurance information retrieved from Epic against the other secondary portal, in this case, Aetna. If they need to then collect payment from the patient, rather than, you know, not smiling with the patient and doing very administrative work, they can simply collect the payment, click a button, and an unattended robot in the back office can post that to the EMR or whatever systems or applications that payment needs to be posted to. And lastly, the PCP copay check, making sure that have they met their deductible, what is the copay, uh, being able to collect that information they can do that as well. And the great thing about this single pane of glass is it doesn't have to be limited to just the medical receptionist. One of the cool things we're seeing here in Vegas is automation being used regardless of what the experience is. So when I checked into the hotel, I was able to do a very touchless experience. And if you wanted to do that for the patient as well, it's easy to do that. Give them this single pane of glass, they can click a single button, a robot will do all of the effort that needs to be done in the applications themselves. But then I, as a patient, can immediately see the exam room that I need to go to or any outstanding items that I need to complete and complete that on my own time. So why don't we go ahead and see this live? I'm gonna go ahead and click this button, have my process start. And the cool thing we're gonna see here is that this process is actually gonna be starting in something called picture in picture. While work is happening in this picture-in-picture -picture window, I, as a medical receptionist, can navigate on my screen and not impact the automation as well. And so even though this is attended, the effort's happening on my machine, this picture-in-picture -picture is actually a secondary window session. However, because this is an attended automation, I might have to give input. 
for example, I might need to enter the patient's name. Whenever that needs to happen, the robot can actually pause its work for me and give me a prompt. And I can maximize my picture in picture session, take control and do some action. And so I'm going to go ahead and enter the patient's name. And as soon as I hit the enter button, that's the trigger mechanism for the robot to continue its work. And so while I'm engaging with the patient, asking them how their weekend was, the robot is checking them in and it also can use document understanding. And so I might have manually written on a, the, the patient's vitals on a form. I can easily scan that in, send that to the uh, robot, and the robot will take that information, use our document understanding solution, and enter that information into the EMR system. And so we'll see it continuing here. And the last thing, again, all about that single pane of glass, now I have the information from all of my different systems and I have a physician's dashboard that I can use and that's what the physician can use. Getting information from imaging, getting the latest vitals from today as well as previous visits, current medication, any allergies they might have. As soon as they're done, rather than doing any administrative work, the robot's gonna be able to do that. The robot's gonna go ahead and end the visit. And so what's the impact of this automation on the medical receptionist work profile? What's the value that we're getting? So pre-automation, what we saw uh, through a couple studies is that 70% of a medical receptionist work might be very administrative, while only 10% is on patient engagement. However, post-automation, we're gonna be able to see that patient engagement piece of the pie increase drastically to about 55%. Some other metrics that we've seen is you have a greater amount of collections increases, 100% uh, auditing and recording of all process steps, improved patient navigation experience, and then overall improvement in personal productivity. Processes, the current process, you can see the number of clicking and typing and the navigation between different applications that the um, medical receptionist needs to do. If we see today how much they might spend, it might be about 2.5 minutes per patient, 20 patients a day. That's about 50 minutes a day spent on this specific task. But digitally assisted process, we can decrease that time from 2.5 minutes, I've conservatively estimated one minute. You're still gonna be getting an approximate 30 minutes a day of time savings. And so that's all we had for attended automation today. It really doesn't matter the persona. We saw the medical receptions today, but whether you're an outpatient care provider, an accounts manager for a payer, you can use this idea of that single pane of glass powered by attended and unattended automation via UiPath apps. Join me the rest of the week as we go through various components of our platform. We'll see testing, we'll see cloud elements, we'll see Fire API integrations, a lot of interesting demos, uh, and looking forward to talking again.